Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I will show you how to install WordPress in GoDaddy. So before that, please subscribe my YouTube channel and click on bell icon. Let's start. So to install WordPress in GoDaddy, you should have GoDaddy account and a hosting plan i have already purchased a hosting plan so after login into your godaddy account click on username and select my products here you can see multiple options go to web hosting so here in the web hosting you can see that i have ultimate linux hosting with cpanel so in this option you can see manage click on that then you can see cpanel admin you can click on this option it will open cpanel dashboard here you can see multiple options come to the section software and click on this installed Atron applications installer so here you can see that I have one website so to install WordPress I will click on applications browser come down you will see WordPress click on this WordPress and click on install this application it will ask you where you want to install so I will give a directory name as WordPress. It is optional, but I am giving WordPress as a directory name. So the location of the URL will be tutorials4.com slash WordPress. And all the files and directories will be there in public HTML slash WordPress. Version is 5.9.3, language is English accept the license agreement if you want your website automatically update click on update to any ver any new version as of now i don't want automatically update so i will select do not automatically update same for plugin and themes i will select do not automatically update options and here you can see uh, automatic update backup option if you want uh, automatically backups of your website click on create a backup as of now I don't need any automatically backup to be created I will select do not create a backup if username password and email so that you can log in into the dashboard of WordPress please remember username and password give your email id give the title of your website And the tagline of the website it will ask some other options also like two-factor authentication limit login attempts and enable multi site as of now I am selecting do not enable two-factor authentication limit login attempts yes and enable multi site no in the advanced setting manager management i am selecting automatically manage advanced settings for me and click on install it will take some time to install wordpress here you can see that wordpress is getting installed and copying files and directories copying database and tables here you can see the percent of 
installation the installation is complete and you can visit tutorials4.com slash wordpress and you can see that uh, wordpress has been installed this is the default theme of wordpress if you want to change your theme click on this url tutorials4.com slash wordpress slash wp admin so select a template for your new website i am selecting this web this template and start with this template it will ask some options what are you planning to do with your website i am checking write blog post you can select what Ever you want are you building this website for yourself or someone else select the option as per your requirement I am building this site for myself or my organization or click on finish setup so it is installing the template it will take some time to install template is installed so this is the template which I select just now and to manage your WordPress website by WP admin and give username and password to login click on login And this is the dashboard of your WordPress. Here you can customize your website as per your requirements. Install themes. You can add new theme or you can upload a theme or you can select from the default themes so in the appearance themes you can select or upload the themes for your website in the plugin section you can install and manage plugins here also you can add new plugin from the default plugins or you can upload a plugin from this upload plugin option in the post section you can write post add post manage post delete everything you can do from the post section and you can add categories you can add tags you can add media you can add and manage pages from the manage from the pages section and you can also create menus so from the dashboard you can customize your website so this is how we can install WordPress in GoDaddy. Hope you like this video. Please subscribe my channel and also share with others so that others also can learn how to install WordPress on GoDaddy. Thanks for watching.